Hi guys, VST here of NSP Tech. Welcome back on my channel. This is the Oxygen OS 11 review. But I think you can already see this because uh, we have the OS on display, which apparently is something new for OnePlus and for the Oxygen OS. So I'm just gonna unlock my phone. If you have been following my channel, you know that I am using now the very first released Oxygen OS 11 Open Beta for the OnePlus 8 Pro. And of course, I needed some days to really see and have a nice feel and touch on that system, which pretty much have right now. And I'm gonna share with you my review. So this review, guys, is gonna have three parts, right? The first part is gonna be covering all the new functionalities and features that we get really from the latest Android 11. We should not forget that Oxygen OS 11 is really based on Android 11 and there are some new cool things really coming from this Android 11, from the stock Android, okay? But this is not stock Android, right? The second part of the review is going to really focus on the design improvements and all these nice changes or not so nice changes that apparently the OnePlus Oxygen team wanted to introduce in order to make the phone better for one-handed usage all right you've heard about that probably and that has been big debates around that so this is going to be the second part and the third part of this review guys is going to show you all the nice features and the new features that apparently are not related to android 11 and are just pure things that are brought to us by the on plus oxygen os team so three parts guys right now starting really with the first part what are the new things really from android 11 that also found their way into the oxygen os 11 and of course i'm going to start first thing with the notification so there has been really a huge revamp of the notification but again don't really expect some miracles right there are really a lot of subtle tiny changes but if you put them all together i think the changes are really big so when you open the notification menu right now, you would see that all the design and all the animations really are flawless. And just take a look, I'm just gonna do it once, and this is pretty much you know, something that I really favor a lot. So when you scroll down and up like this, you can pretty much see all the icons really dancing around in a complete synergy and unison. And I pretty much like this, guys. But one thing that is new here apparently, and this comes from Android 11, is the new playback notification. So now into this new menu, all your multimedia is going to be into one place. So I've opened Spotify, I've opened Mixcloud, and I've opened also YouTube. And right now, it is very much a convenient way to access all of this in only one place. So right now, you can just play and pause your music, or you can play and pause your video on one place. I think this is very, very convenient. Again, this really has been a nice feature from Android 11 that, of course, also made its way to Oxygen OS 11. A second thing, right, a second thing also related to this new playback and notifications in the output. So as you can see here, every time I do swipe left or right, I get an indication here, phone speaker. If I had to click that one, guys, you can see that I can choose my phone speaker, I can choose my car, I can choose my Galaxy Buds or my mobile speaker, right? So again, a very nice addition, but this really is pure Android 11. So very happy to see this here. The second thing I wanna show you guys is really, again, related with the notification panel and with the messages. Now again, this is some Android 11 functionality. Right now, when you are getting a notification, you can just tap on the notification and you can select the priority, right? So right now, if I get a notification from this person, you know, my phone may ring or vibrate, but if I go to priority, right, every time this person is going to send me a new notification, it's going to appear on top of my notification. Try to apply it. So I just set this conversation to priority which pretty much mean, you see here, I get an icon of the person. And every time actually this person is gonna write me something, you know, it's gonna appear directly here, you know, from the top on my panel. Right now you see even marked with a yellow circle. So this is really, again, Android 11 stock functionality. One final thing that also came from the Android 11 is the new power menu. So apparently when you hold the button here, the power one and the volume up, you will go into the power menu. And right now, besides you being able to power off your phone or reboot it or take a screenshot, you can also control all your home smart appliances. I have a Xiaomi bulb. I have some Ikea bulbs. You know, I can connect to my family speaker. It's really very nice. I even can connect to my TV, you know, via the Chromecast. So all of these things really are very nice. And of course I can turn off all my lights and even control the brightness. So it's a nice addition to what we already had. So right now you don't need a special app. You can directly do this from the power menu. Another important feature from Android 11 that also found its way to the latest Oxygen OS 11 is the permission manager. So if you go to settings, if you go to privacy, and if you go to permission manager, you will have now a very unique and even very easy way to allow 
settings. So for example, I can see right now that I have 21 applications that can access my camera and I can go there and individually select if I allow this to happen all the time, allowed only while I'm using those application or even forbid that one. And this is very handy guys because just look at the microphone. Apparently I have 16 apps that can access my microphone and I'm not sure if that's good or not. For example, like some music players, the messages, probably a nice way for you really to manage your private settings. And this again is a new feature, you know, from Android 11. You also get the network rating, you know, for the Wi-Fi. So apparently this also should work. Right now I cannot really see it in my phone, but it's also something really coming from the Android 11. Pretty much think that this is the first part of our review. There has been some other nice Android 11 things which already were there in Oxygen OS, like screen recording, which we already had in the Oxygen OS, and as well as the extended screenshots. All of these things were already here. Right now, I think it's already time to go into the second part of our review, where we are going to review all these nice design touches, you know, from the Oxygen OS theme that really will make the phone a little bit more easier to use in a one-handed mode. But before we start this guys, remember, there is a big history between OnePlus, Oxygen OS and one-handed mode. It was several times, you know, brought back and forth into the open betas for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Finally, I think they killed it and people were not really happy. So apparently on the OnePlus 7 Pro, we had the one-handed mode, but it went away. This is really what OnePlus Oxygen OS team uses to justify, you know, the new design changes. And actually the very big change is already to be seen in the settings menu. And this is actually the first screenshot or the first visual that brought a lot of steering to the community. When this was released with the first developer preview, people were just saying and screaming loud that OnePlus apparently is copying Samsung One UI because of this interface. But I did really a full comparison between the One UI 2.5 and the OS Oxygen 11. And you can pretty much see that this is not the case 100%. Of course, there are some resemblance guys but it's different and oneplus did all these changes guys to make the phone easier for 100 operation and this is pretty much the case because see this is really a very big phone right you know it's a oneplus 8 pro if i go to the settings you know i can even touch the first menu with my finger they changes in the settings you know they changes also into the contacts it's the same here or even if i go you know into the favorites it's pretty much the same here or even if i go into the messages menu you see i can even open the first message and i think another new change that is really related to the design change that we can see in the OS Oxygen 11 is really also in the gallery, pretty much revamped. And I really like it guys, because right now, you know, we can just explore and you can just swipe left and right and you can just go and access your photos in a more easy way. And for me, the second part of this design change is exactly this, but of course there are plenty of other things, right? And this plenty of other things I will now cover into the third section of my video. And the third section of my video is going to focus on all the new things and the new features that are not Android 11, but are new things for the Oxygen OS 11. And of course, as first, I'm just gonna start, you know, with the ambient display. I mean, this is pretty much clear. When I just turn off the phone, guys, you can see I have an always on display. It really has been a very nice addition. People wanted to have an always on display since years. The way it goes is you have to go to the display, right? And then you have to go to ambient display. And when you go into the always on, ambient display now you have an option to really switch it off for the whole day of course you have also the schedule approach so you can just have an always on display from the morning until the evening it was not there before and if you go here to customization so let me just show you you are able to choose your clock style so now all the clock styles right that previously were only visible on the lock screen are now good to be used as an always on display so this is pretty much the first thing you know that is really specific for oxygen os 11. second thing i want to show you guys of course is in the camera when you go in the camera right now you'll see that it's pretty much the same interface but when you go into the video you're going to see that there are two new modes there is one mode for a video portrait mode you can see here video portrait right and there is also one mode that is nightscape video right so you can right now shoot videos full hd 30 fps in the night and i can tell it's gonna be pretty bright in fact i'm just gonna show you here one example this is a video that i shot yesterday using the nightscape video mode and by the way it was already very very dark so if i would have switched really like the regular video camera you wouldn't have not seen anything so this new addition really much appreciated okay and right now i'm going to show you also the other video option which is the new video portrait mode so just have a look here 
testing the video portrait. So you see all the bokeh around my head. Sure how it works. You know, good. if I just pose it, guys, just you can see, you know, all the nice cuttings. It is really perfect and it does work. So we have these two new video modes, the video portrait and also the video nightscape. Once you take a picture or take a video, you can hold it with your thumb and then you have the option to share it, all right? Another new feature in the latest Oxygen OS 11. But of course there are more. If I go into the settings and if I go here, guys, to utilities, you're gonna see that we have now finally the pocket mode back, which will prevent accidental screen touches or fingerprint operations when we have the phone in the pocket. And that's really a very nice addition. And there are also some changes in the way the dark mode works. Something that really annoyed me before the version 11 of the Oxygen OS is the fact that you can only switch on the dark mode and switch it off. Right now, you know, if you go to settings and then you go to dark mode, we can finally see that here there is a way to really turn this on automatically, okay? So apparently you can enable it from sunset to sunrise and just also take a look. The dark mode now is a little bit different than what we used to have before, you know, because you see it is not really 100% black. There are these gray areas that make the text stand up a little bit just for easier comprehension. The new font that they have included here really enhanced readability, so I'm also happy for that one. Besides all of the things that I show you guys, there are not so many new things. A lot of the stock app has been redesigned, you know, with new interfaces like the weather app, the calculator app. I think that I pretty much showed you like the main new things that really you can find with the latest Oxygen OS 11. And don't forget, this is right now a beta, so hopefully soon enough we're gonna have like a first stable release right now only available for the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. But I just think that, you know, these three components really make it for a very great OS. So again, the main component, all the new features from Android 11 that you can find here. The second component is the so-called seamless operation, apparently where you can use the phone only with one hand. And the third component are all these nice things and tricks that were included here, like the new video camera modes and also the pocket mode and other things. So guys, I really hope that this video was useful for you. If you like the content I'm doing, you might consider subscribing for my channel. And I wanna wish you guys a nice Friday and a nice rest of the week if you're watching it today. If not, just have a nice rest of the day. With that said, VST over and bye.